Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to make a demo here for you of my acoustic pedal board here that I play on Sunday mornings and I'm playing acoustic guitar at my church. So anyway, let me do a walkthrough of this. Check it out. All right, here we go. This is my acoustic pedal board that I play here. And uh, first of all, the pedal board itself, I made this pedal board and it's made out of half inch plywood. And basically, I modeled it after the the size of uh, the pedal train junior or I can't remember which one it's the, the smallest pedal train board basically what I did is I made like a little um, board for it and then you can see in the corners there's some velcro right here and then on this right here there's velcro as well so if I need to get to the underside of it it's super easy and then this just comes back down and it velcros onto onto that and it's it's sturdy. It's not gonna not gonna move anywhere. So that's kind of a cool thing that uh, that that I like about this this board, the way it's designed. And then all the if I have cables that need to go underneath it, I can do that. Or like right here, they can go underneath the uh, the pedal board with the little gap. I put a little gap, um, two pieces there. So I probably made this in about a half an uh, uh, an afternoon. Maybe it took me about two or three hours to do. This uh, this is some sort of I think it's called Duracoat, and it's like a paint that makes the the texture that you find on like a, uh, speakers and that kind of thing, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, coming from right to left, so I go straight in here from my guitar. That's my guitar back there, my uh, uh, Taylor 314 KCE. Goes into this hot tone. Uh, volume slash wah slash expression pedal. I usually just keep it in the the volume. Um, it's a decent little pedal. Uh, I mean, it's not like super anything to write home for, but I really like the size of it. It's one of those micro uh, volume pedals. And I, um, on the side there, you can see you can kind of switch um, what you want it to be, volume expression or wah. Now, one feature on it that it is really great is the ability right here if you can see that little volume knob right there you can set the volume of how low you want it to go so right now the the way that i use this is a lot of times in church i have my normal volume and then what happens is someone will be come up and talk maybe they're they're uh, talking about something and i'm playing music behind them and i don't want it to be at my normal volume so i'll just pull it all the way down and, but I'm not all the way down because of that volume in there. I'm able to be at like half volume. You can set it to whatever you want. So you could you could set it to where it goes all the way down, um, but I don't have it that way. Uh, it's not that great of a pedal uh, for swells, so I don't really use it for, for swells or anything like that. Um, just because it's, it's, I think it's just too small. I really need like a Ernie Ball or something like that. Going from there is the Joyo um tuner and this is just uh i've had this for a number of years and it's a nice little nice little tuner uh does seems to do a decent job it's probably not the best tuner in the world but uh they're, they're pretty inexpensive one thing i do like about this this is it has a out uh like a dc power out and so for you know like this right right now i'm running i actually have two um power supplies like a one spot um, that's powering this DD20, which I'll talk about in a second. And then the other one is uh, powering the daisy chain. And I know I need to get a like an like a isolated um, power supply, but I haven't done it yet. But anyway, I have one, two, three, four, five pedals on here that are powered. And so um, the daisy chain only does five. And I think at one point I had six pedals on here. Yeah, I did, because I had two pedals in place of this. I had six pedals on here and so I like the fact that this has a power out if you need it, because I was baby basically able to get five pedals plus go out of this into the volume pedal for my sixth pedal. So I do like that feature on the, the Joyo. Moving right along, here is my Alchemy uh, multi-effects pedal from Donner. And this is like a modulation pedal. It's got a bunch of, of things that you can use on it. I mostly just use it for chorus, but it's got a bunch of different things. I actually did a review of this on my YouTube channel. You could check it out, um, but it's got chorus, flange, phaser, tremolo. Uh, if you're running in stereo, you can do like a, a pan thing, rotary, univibe, vibrato. I've only used this live for, I think, uh, chorus, 
uh, and that's that's about it. I might have put this on an electric guitar board at one point and done the tremolo, but uh, it's got a decent uh, chorus sound. It's not the best sound, um, and I'm considering switching it out for my Boss CE2. I like the chorus on that a little bit better, but um, I don't know. I kind of think that the, like the versatility on this if I ever decide I needed to use any of those other effects Anyway going into there into the boss DD 20 giga delay um, This is a, an awesome pedal um, Since the DD 500 I think is what it's called just came out uh, These have come down in price on the used market and so if you can find one these are just great pedals um, You know the 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 boss DD I think it's called the DD 500 came out and I thought oh, I'm gonna get one of those and Actually, there's no reason for me to get it because this does everything and more than I want it to do. I really like it. Um, it's got to be able to do uh, dotted eighth notes. You can see there it's got this uh, the dotted eighth note um, selected. You've got four different memory banks in here that you can choose from. You can set this where you can do uh, like four different songs if you wanted to. Or um, like what I do is I just kind of know what my four different sounds are and it saves your your tempo in it so you you know whatever um if you are doing different songs it'll save it you can also set this to the uh millisecond instead of the um beats per minute um, and i've got this little like little spacer on here it just kind of raises up this this right one and the reason is is because sometimes i put this on another pedal board and the pedals next to it are, are, is really high up, and so this is hard to get to. So there's nothing wrong with this. It's just like a little thing I put on there to, to make it easier for me to hit. Um, all right, uh, and I use this a lot of times. Uh, I use delay on almost everything, and I've got it attached to this tap tempo. This is a tap tempo pedal that I made, but it's uh, basically, I mean, the, the Boss one works just fine, but basically I can uh, tap in whatever uh, tempo I want. So you can see there, as I'm tapping this, it's it's registering the same, the tempo that I'm tapping it at. And I usually just kind of pull this off and it's got Velcro on the bottom and I just sit it onto the floor. So it, it kind of just grabs the floor really nicely. And really live, the only two things that I, I ever touch, I pretty much keep the chorus where it's at. Um, and then I hit the tap tempo a lot. And then I turn off my reverb. Um, and then sometimes you know, I'll, I'll switch into different settings here too, but that's basically what we have there and then uh, um, Coming here. We have the boss digital reverb the RV5. I recently got this I was using a Donner uh, Reverb pedal before but I got this because it has a really nice uh, modulation sound and I, I really like it. It's very airy and it almost it reminds me of kind of like a Strymon blue sky um, which I cannot afford right now. Um, but anyway, this is a, a really cool reverb pedal. It's very versatile. You can get out just about any, any reverb in there that you want. I have the modulation and a lot of times there's, I'll put it on the modulation setting of this as well, the DD20, and it creates a, a very airy, um, ambient sound there. So anyway, that's the, my acoustic pedal board. Um, it's not... The best pedal board in the world but i really like it and it seems to be doing pretty good for me anyway you can just rustle out if you like this video please hit the like button comment subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you in another video